Let me go, let me go, let me go. Don't want you to see me cry. Let me go, let me go, let me go. you guys got the pictures and everything all set so you can either use the one that you did on the scanner if you have it or if you don't you can use your phone either way doesn't matter now what I'm gonna do is basically open up Photoshop you can use whatever you want but you know this is a Photoshop tutorial so this is what I'm gonna use so you're gonna hit file you're gonna hit new oh shit new and then you're gonna put the resolution at 800 by 800 this is how YouTube likes it. It likes it square. It likes it not too big, not too small. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit it, um, the little brand new layer, little icon on the bottom, new layer, and then we're just gonna import the picture that we are going to use, and that could be either the sketch that you got from the phone or the printer, whichever one. You know, not all of us have printers or whatever, so you just gotta pick whatever you want. So um, I had to re-record this because I made a mistake. I basically enlarged it because you're supposed to enlarge um, the sketch regardless, but I enlarged it and left it this size. And then at the end, when I stretched it to make it fit the, the canvas, it was very, very pixelated. And that is not a good thing, ladies and gentlemen. So you just wanna max this out as much as you can. So just ideally, however big you want the logo to be, just stretch it out like that. Now this sketch will look pixelated, but what we're worried about is the end result. So um, I think that looks good. And if you don't know how to zoom in or out, you hold control and then you hit the plus or minus key on your keyboard and boom, there you go. So uh, this looks okay. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Yeah, because there's enough space in the bottom and on the sides and everything. So I like the way this looks. And now we can get started with the tutorial. Now you're gonna open up a new layer again. And then what you're basically gonna do is you're gonna use the uh, polygonal lasso tool, or if you wanna make it a little bit more complicated, if you trust yourself, you can use the pen tool. Now when you use the pen tool, we're basically gonna do that and that, and then, oops, wrong one, wrong way. Hang on. So when you use the pen tool, 
We're gonna do that. And just bend it like that. So um, you can do this two of ways, or one of two ways. You can use this polygonal lasso tool like that, and just kind of get all the corners. And then at the end, you can hit Control T and modify it, or you can use the pen tool. I'm gonna use the pen tool because I think it's much more efficient, but you can use whichever method you want. So, like I said, you start from the top or wherever you wanna start from, and as you can see, these are basically the meet, the, the intersection points within the, the logo. So, um, when you click on the logo or when you click on the first one, it will have a little box. And now, depending if your logo is straight or has curves, um, this will determine the second step. So, once you click the little first, uh, once you click the first little dot like that, so that's the first dot. Mine's curved, so I'm gonna click and hold, and I'm gonna basically just bend it um, to where it's you know bending. So I think that's a pretty good curve right there. And if it's straight, just click, and you don't have to click and hold. When you click and hold, it allows you to manipulate the line in order for you to curve it. Now, again. Um, so before I make this uh, the next um, point I'm gonna click and hold and same jizz so I'm just gonna do that and then if you hold control you can adjust this like so so hopefully this will work if not it's okay too Do, 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 do. do that. There you go. That's somewhat of a curve, like that. There we go. So it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but just kind of get the general um, consensus of what you're doing down so there you go oh god what the f there we go and there we go I'm gonna do that so it's gonna be a little bit tedious I'm not gonna lie this isn't the easiest thing to do but just think about how your logo is gonna be looking it's gonna be looking fresh and dope There we go. Look at that. Like a champ. And then, boom. You, wah! You're gonna just do that. And then, do that. You're gonna zoom in a little bit. This is definitely. There we go. There we go. Oh, mm -mm, no, sir. It is not wanting to cooperate with me. Mm. And it's, oh, my God. What is that? <laughs> so there's our first thing. I, I know it's kind of weird looking, but we'll, we can fix it, okay? So don't get all worried, we can fix it. So this is the first one, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, and we're gonna do make selection, zero pixels, and then make a new layer if you haven't already, and hit B for your brush tool and just fill in the, the space fill in the espacio bro just fill it in hit control D to deselect and there you go so um, let's correct this part while we're doing this part and so just make that like that and so what we're gonna do is basically get the pen tool and then we're just gonna click here and we're gonna pretend 
like that Oop. like that there we go so now that you have that you're gonna make another selection zero again and then this time you're going to erase and hit control D and boom there you go it is pointing out my friends so now we fix that and we're gonna make a new layer once again because since this is basically two shapes that make up this logo we want to put these shapes in different layers so that way if you need to fix something you don't need to you know F up the rest of the thing right so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing but this time we're gonna use the polygonal lasso tool to see the difference between using the polygonal lasso tool or the pen now the pen yes it was very tedious to do but it looks pretty damn cool and it, the lines are crisp and clean and cut so that is why I like using that um, that method but I mean you know um, I'm not everyone so so there we go we are finished with the triangle and then we're just gonna fill it in with the blue yes this was much easier but hopefully um, this doesn't become way too pixelated so we're gonna hit control T we're gonna get the manipulation tool and we are basically going to just bend the shape to our will, to our liking. And so that looks okay. Control plus, and then just kind of put it right there. And there we go. So if we turn off the sketch, that is the final product. And as you can see, there's it looks kind of weird, right? It looks kind of weird, like it doesn't belong, like it doesn't look right. So like I said the pen tool is probably the best bet to get the most high quality logo you can but if you're in a rush or if you just don't want to do all the work go ahead and use the polygonal lasso tool because it's quicker and it's just quicker so I'm just gonna delete that one make a new layer and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did but with the pen tool so let's see how this differs There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? There we go. We're just gonna zoom in. And then boom, there we go. Then we're just gonna make selection zero back out again you're gonna get the brush tool and once again oops just fill it in like that and if you're wondering how I'm doing this like zooming in and out and stuff you hold alt and if you go from left to right or on the x-axis that changes the diameter or the size and if you go up and down on the y-axis it changes the hardness so this is very light this is very heavy so if you just go like that you know pretty self-explanatory so hit control D, deselect, and um, one of the things I don't like is how thick this line here is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on layer 1, go to the pen tool, which is down here, and then I'm going to click right there, and then basically I'm just going to cut out a little chunk of it. So, zoom in a little bit. So, we're gonna hold control and just kind of move the pinpoints around. Try to get it just right. Like that. And then after that, right click, make selection, zero, and then hit E. Zoom out a little bit so you can see it. Just delete it like so. And as you can see, I kind of chopped off a little more than I wanted to. So control Z, control D. And now we're going to do the pen tool again. But this time we're going to be a little bit more precise. And I know, again, this is very tedious work. But patience, my friends. Lots of patience lots of patience okay so I messed up again it controls the or just escape so if you remember you have to click and hold 
for it to bend and conform. So, click and hold, boom. And so I want this to go inward a little bit to give it a more aggressive look. And then right click, make selection, zero, back out, E, delete, control D, bam. Looks a little bit more aggressive, more aerodynamic, if you know what I'm saying. So this is basically how you make a logo from scratch and from like a sketch. So obviously if you put more time and effort, it will look incredibly, insanely great. But if you don't put a lot of time into it, it's gonna look like shit, like the one that's on here right now. So I'm pretty sure if I took more time with this, it would look better. So if you wanna look at real quick, the final product that I got was this. This was the final product that I got for my brand new logo for my channel and I think it's pretty badass. I like the way it looks, I like the way it kind of transitioned, you know, over the years to just, you know, a modern type logo. So this is what it kind of evolved from. So like I said, making logos not really that hard. It just takes a little bit of creativity. So just grab your notepad, start drawing up some stuff and then just scan it, email it to yourself, download it, and just bring it into Photoshop and just play with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, you know what to do. This is Grenader signing off. See you in the next video. Peace out.